for ASUS. Today, I'm here to bring you all some very exciting news, the one that we've all been waiting for, at least I have. The brand new Ampere architecture GPU from NVIDIA is finally here, promising far more performance than the previous generation. These new GPUs operate within completely new thermal and power envelopes. So we've redesigned our ROG Strix cards from the ground up to unleash their full potential. The changes starts with the aesthetics. Well, the new Strix is a 2.9 slot card. We've implemented an ID that looks sleeker than the 2.7 slot last generation Strix and incorporate the same design language as our latest ROG Strix motherboard. The metal accents give the card a premium look and feel. And embedded addressable RGB lightings can be controlled via Aura software to add a dash of color to your build. In a future software update, the addressable strip will also be able to display GPU temperature as color. Of course, you can also switch all the lightings off if you prefer a stealthier rig. Underneath, the thermal solution has been redesigned to deal with the thermal footprint of NVIDIA's new GPUs. First, let's take a look at the heatsink. Most of the card's 2.9 slot footprint is accounted for by a larger heatsink that provides 31% more surface area than the last generation design. All of the fins connected via heat pipes to a max contact heat spreader. The max contact heat spreader is machined to be flat and polished so it's smoother at the microscopic level, ensuring flusher contact with the die. And because surface flatness varies from die to die, we've also utilized a custom mounting bracket to ensure good heat spreader to die contact on every card. With more fins and surface area to deal with, we also have to optimize fan performance. Uh, similar to the last generation, there are three actual tech fans which utilize a barrier ring to increase static pressure. But for this bigger heatsink, we've made some subtle changes to optimize airflow and dispersion. The two fans on the flanks now features a narrower barrier ring. In contrast, the central fan now has a wider barrier ring and 13 blades. This allows the side fans to intake more air laterally without disturbing the airflow of the central fan, which needs to maintain at higher static pressure because it resides directly on top of heat spreader and the GPU. These subtle changes allow the latest actual tech fans to deliver more airflow while producing lower noise level than the previous generation. The one last component of the thermal solution is the backplate. As you know, circulating coolers require fresh airflow to deliver optimal performance. So we intentionally shortened our PCB to create a vent hole for hot air to travel through the backplate and toward chassis exhaust fans, so this can prevent hot air being recycled by the GPU. As a result of increased power demands, users may need to reevaluate the power rating of their PSUs and even if they have high power PSU, if it has been run hard for a number of years, its voltage regulation may no longer be adequate to cope with the fast load changes. In such instances, the systems may crash when under load, leaving users puzzled. And in order to aid troubleshooting, we've developed an onboard circuit that monitors the PSU rail voltage, and it's fast enough to catch any transient that results in the rail voltage dropping too low. If that happens, LEDs will light up, so you're well aware that your PSU wasn't able to keep up with the current demands of the GPU. Hey, it's a simple feature, but one that will prevent a lot of head scratching if random crashes are experienced. 